Most welcome to the 10th lecture of my series on complex analysis. In this video, I shall show you that both the real and imaginary parts of an analytic function are harmonic functions. And if one of these two parts are given, how to find out the other one, which is known as the harmonic conjugate of the one that is given. I hope you have watched my lecture on analytic functions. If not, you must watch that before you start watching this one. The link is in the description below and uh, you can see above as well. To begin with, I shall state two theorems and one definition as prerequisites for this tutorial. The first one is, as you can see, Swartz theorem. If del f del x exists in a certain neighborhood of a, b, of the domain of definition of a function f of x, y, and if del 2 f del x del y is continuous at a, b, then del 2 f del y del x exists at a, b, and the value of these two mixed partial derivative of f of second order at the point a, b will be equal. That means if these conditions are met, then I can write that del 2f del y del x at the point a b is equal to del 2f del x del y at the point a b. The assumption del 2f del y del x or del 2f del x del y should be continuous at a b is not at all necessary. It is sufficient that f suffix x that means del f del x and del f del y exist and are differentiable as stated in Young's theorem which is as follows. If the partial derivatives del f del x and del f del y exist in some neighborhood of a b and if they are both differentiable at the point a b then del 2 f del x del y is equal to del 2 f del y del x at a b. Now let us see what is the definition of harmonic function. Any real valued function u of two variables x, y with continuous second partial derivatives which satisfies Laplace's equation that is del 2u del x2 plus del 2u del y2 equals to 0 is called a harmonic function. So u will be called a harmonic function if it satisfies the Laplace's equation del 2u del x2 plus del 2u del y2 equals to 0. This can alternatively be written as uxx plus uyy is equals to 0. So if this is satisfied by any function of two variables uh, uh, u, then u is known as a harmonic function. Geometrically, harmonic functions have the property that their value at any point is equal to the average of their values along any circle around that point. So if I find out the uh, uh, value of the function at this point, then it will be equal to the average functional value at all these points, means all these infinite number of points. At each of these points which are lying on the circumference of this circle, if I consider the average of of the functional values at each of these points uh, and if the function is harmonic then that average will be equal to the functional value at this point provided the function is defined within this circle uh, you can understand that an infinite number of points are involved in this average so it must be found by means of an integral in physical situations harmonic functions describe those conditions of equilibrium such as uh, 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 temperature or electrical charge distribution over a region in which the value at each point remains constant. This not notion can be extended in n dimension but in complex analysis 
we shall consider real valued functions of two real variables only. So this is about uh, a harmonic function. Now these three, the Swartz theorem, uh, the Young's theorem, and the harmonic function, these three will be our prerequisites for our next course of discussion. Now, my claim is, if Fz is equal to u plus iv is analytic, then both u and v are harmonic functions. That is my claim. That if Fz is equal to u plus iv is analytic, then both the real and imaginary parts are harmonic functions. So, how uh, to justify this claim? As discussed earlier, the derivative f prime z of an analytic function f z is also analytic, and hence u x y and v x y also possess continuous second order partial derivatives at every point of the domain. Now, since if z is analytic, the real and imaginary parts satisfy Cauchy Riemann equations. Therefore, using Cauchy Riemann equations, we can write del u del x is equal to del v del y and del u del y is equal to minus del v del x. Therefore, if we partially differentiate the first equation with respect to x, we get del 2u del x2 is equal to del 2v del x del y. And now if we partially differentiate the second equation with respect to y, we get del 2u del y2 is equal to minus del 2v del y del x. Now if we consider these two mixed partial derivatives of second order, these two mixed partial derivatives of second order, uh, what you can say about them? As per a supposition uh, that we have made here, or, or as per the result that we discussed here, uh, both this u and v possess continuous second order partial derivatives, means the second order partial derivatives are continuous. And f prime z is analytic, that again means uh, uh, both this your ux and uy. Uh, 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 both of these are again differentiable. So, by Swartz theorem or Young's theorem, uh, can you tell me what we can uh, what we can say about these two? Absolutely correct. Therefore, by Swartz theorem, we can say that del two v del x del y is equals to del two v del y del x. Now that means from these two equations, what you can say, if we add these two, what do we get? Hence, del 2u del x2 plus del 2u del y2 is equals to 0. And this shows that u is a harmonic function. Therefore, we can write u is a or u x y. Similarly, one can prove that uh, v x y is also a harmonic function. Now, we define this u and v as harmonic conjugate of each other. If fz is equal to u plus iv is analytic, then u and v are known as the harmonic conjugate of each other. Now, a pertaining question will be, for any u x y which is harmonic, is it necessary that a harmonic conjugate will exist? Or in other words, for every harmonic function u x y, can we get another harmonic function v x y such that u x y plus i into v x y is analytic? The following theorem answers this question. Let g be either the whole complex plane or some open disk in the complex plane. If a real valued function u defined on g is harmonic, then u has a harmonic conjugate. That means, by virtue of this theorem, every harmonic function defined on the whole complex plane or some open disk in the complex plane will possess a harmonic conjugate. Now, the question is how to find that harmonic conjugate. 
so that is the main agenda of this video how to find or how to determine harmonic conjugate of a given harmonic function determination of the conjugate function that is more specifically if u is given how to find v that is the question uh, now since v is a function of two variables x y the total differential of v is dv is equals to del v del x dx plus del v del y dy now what what we what we need we need this fz to be analytic so since fz has to be analytic cr equations must be satisfied therefore we can write this is further equal to by cr equations del v del x is equal to minus del u del y and we know by cr equations del v del y will be equal to del u del x dy so dv can be written in this way let us call this as equation number one in case uh, you forgot what is cr equation what is the form of cr equations so let me quickly remind you that if fz is equal to u plus iv is analytic then by cr equations we get del u del x is equal to del v del y and del u del y is equal to minus del v del x which i have used uh, uh, in this particular uh, 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 formula for, uh, to, formula for total differential of v and i have got this now we can see that the right side of this equation one is of the form m dx plus n dy if we identify this particular expression as my m and this expression as my n then this is of the form in the form m dx plus n dy so where m is equal to minus del u del y and n is equal to del u del x now can you tell me what will be uh, del m del y if this is my m therefore del m del y will be equal to minus del 2u del y2 and what will be my del n del x del n del x is equal to del 2u del x2 now since this u is given a harmonic function u is given as a harmonic function therefore we get del 2u del x2 plus del 2u del y2 is equal to 0 that is del 2u del x2 is equals to minus del 2u del y2 now this implies what if you look at the previous line if you look at these two particular uh, equations and if you look at this what we get from the definition of harmonic uh, function what we can write now we can write now that del m del y is equals to del n del x therefore we can write del m del y is equals to del n del x del m del y is equals to del n del x now look at this equation differential equation one this differential equation one you have expressed this right hand side in the form m dx plus n dy and the left hand side is actually an exact differential so what we can and and further we have got del m del y is equal to del n del x so if i club everything can you tell me what we can say absolutely correct this implies that equation one satisfies condition for a differential equation to be exact and hence it can be 
integrated very easily to obtain uh, uh, V. Therefore, what you can conclude? Therefore, we conclude that dV is equals to minus del u del y dx plus del u del x dy satisfies condition for a differential equation to be exact. Hence, it can be integrated to obtain uh, the value of V. So, if u is given by solving this differential equation, you can find out what is your V or what is the harmonic conjugate of U and eventually you can find out what is your analytic function Fz that is constructed by that U and the V that you have determined. Similarly, can you tell me if V is given to us, how to find out U? Exactly. Then simply we will be considering a differential equation which will be du is equals to del u del x dx plus del u del y dy. This is the formula for total differential of u. Now by Cauchy-Riemann equations, exactly in a similar way of, of providing logic, similar logic, we can write del u del x as del v del y. And I can write this del u del y as minus del v del x. So, I can write du is equals to this. Therefore, if I solve this particular differential equation, I can find out what is my u if v is given. So, if u is given, if u is given, you find out V using this formula and if V is given, you find out U using this formula. So, I hope uh, it is clear uh, that how we can find out the harmonic conjugate. Now, let us solve a problem uh, to have a better understanding. The problem is show that if u is equal to x cubed minus 3xy square, then there exists a function vxy such that fz is equal to u plus iv is analytic in a finite region. Determine such vxy and express fz in terms of z. So, the problem has three parts. First, for this u, we need to show that uh, there exists an another, another function uh, vxy such that u plus iv is analytic. That means we need to find out, we need to show that this u will possess a harmonic conjugate. That is the first part. Second part, we need to find out that harmonic conjugate. And the third part, we need to find out what is fz, that is u plus iv, and we need to express that in terms of z. So, three tasks. First one, we need to show that for this u, there will be a harmonic conjugate. Now, how to show that? Okay, uh, if you remember the theorem that I told you, let us quickly see one second. Yes, if I, if you look at this particular theorem that I told you, this theorem, uh, it says that if G be either the whole complex plane C or some open disk, and if U is a harmonic function, then U has a harmonic conjugate. That means if my function U is a harmonic function, then it will have a harmonic conjugate. So, to show, show that this U possess a harmonic conjugate, we need to show that this U is a harmonic function. Fantastic. How to show that this U, uh, U, U is a harmonic function? We need to show that this U satisfies Laplace equation. Fine. Here, what is del U del X? Can you tell me what will be del U del X? Del U del X will be 3X square minus 3 y square and therefore what will be del 2u del x2 that will be equal to 6x fantastic now can you tell me what will be del u del y del u del y will be minus 6xy therefore what will be del 2u del y2 del 2u del y2 will be minus 6 
x. So call it equation number 1, call it equation number 2. Therefore, what you can say from 1 and 2? From 1 and 2, what you can say? Del 2u, del x2 plus del 2u, del y2. That will be 6x plus minus 6x. That means equals to 0. Therefore, u satisfies Laplace equation. That is, u is harmonic. Therefore, u is harmonic in the whole complex plane. And hence, u has a harmonic conjugate v such that fz is equal to u plus iv is analogy. So, the first part of the problem has been answered. Now, the second part, how to find out uh, v? So, if we look at the formula we discussed above, if we look at this particular formula, if u is given, how to find out v? Uh, we, can, we, can, we can simply uh, integrate both the sides of this differential equation and we can find out v as per our discussion. So, let us do that to find out v. Okay, so here, therefore here, dv will be, therefore here, dv will be equal to what as for the formula dv will be minus del u del y dx plus del u del x dy just i'm showing you the formula once again so that uh, you can remember minus del u del y dx plus del u del x dy okay so now here, can you tell me what is the value of this del u del y? So, here the value of del u del y, del u del y means here I have del u del y. So, uh, minus del u del y dx. So, that means minus of minus 6xy, that is 6xy dx plus what is the value of del u uh, uh, del x? Del u del x is this one. So, plus uh, 3x square minus 3y square uh, dy. So, this is uh, my uh, dv. Now, as per, as per our derivation earlier, I told you that or we, 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 we saw that this will be exact. So, that means this can be written as, this can be written as an exact differential. So, how I can write this? Pretty simple. If I consider, if I do a bit arrangement, if I write 6xy dx plus 3x square dy, say 3x square into 1 dy, if I think in this way, this minus 3y square dy. So, I'm, I have done this arrangement. That means this can be written as d of, how I can write this? Exactly, this can be written up d as d of 3x square y minus, how we can write this? d of, what, I, what, what will be this? y cube. As d of y cube is 3y square. So, that means the whole thing can be written as d of 3x square y minus y cube. Therefore, what we have got? Therefore, dv is equals to this. Now, on integration, what do we get? v is equals to 3x square y minus y cube plus c, where c is a constant. So, uh, the second part of our question has also been answered. We have found out what is v. Now, the third part. In the third part, we need to uh, find out what is fz and express fz in terms of z. Okay, fine. Let us do that. So, uh, therefore, fz will be equals to u plus iv. That means, what was my u? My u was x cube minus 3xy square plus iv. So, i into v, we have just found out this is our v. So, v will be 3x square y minus y cube plus c. So, uh, that is my fz equals to u plus iv. Now, we need to represent fz in terms of z. 
here fz is a, is represented as a function of xy or or as uxy plus ivxy but the requirement is we need to represent fz as a function of z that means as a function of x plus iy z is x plus iy so we need to do some adjustment that we can represent this function as a function of x plus iy fine uh, let us see what can be done now if we consider uh, this terms then the terms can be written as x cube minus 3 into okay plus 3 into x into i y whole square because i square is minus 1 so then this will become minus plus i into 3 x square y so i can write this as 3 into x square into i y plus uh, i can write this term as i y whole cube because i cube is minus i so uh, we get this so this terms can be written as this way and the remaining thing is i into c so this is what remains therefore this can be written as you can understand x plus i y whole cube this is nothing but x plus i y whole cube plus i into c this is a constant as it is written above that means what do we get therefore we get f z is equals to z cube plus i into c so this is my uh, f z so our task was to represent f z in terms of a um, in terms of f, uh, of of z that means as a function of z so we can write this f z as a function of z in this way so this is our representation for f z as a function of z so this is our f z as a function of z and 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 if you if you just if you just look at this you can understand that f prime z will be equal to here 3 z square f prime z is 3 z square which exists for all finite values of uh, uh, z hence f z is analytic also so we have constructed the analytic function f z Mm, and we have expressed that in terms of uh, uh, z also so whenever uh, our u was given we have been able to find out the harmonic conjugate v and at the same point of time we have found out the analytic function f, f function fz and expressed that in terms of z so this is how you can solve problems so here uh, mm, uh, u was given we found out v and constructed fz similar thing can be done if instead of u v is given and we have to find out u we will do a similar kind of calculation and uh, and and we will use uh, this particular uh, second uh, differential equation to find out u if v is given and we will find out fz accordingly so this is how you can solve a problem now you can understand that if z has been obtained in terms of z by doing adjustment or manipulations that we have done here in this in this part of our calculation we have done some adjustments or manipulations to represent fz in terms of z in this case since u and v are simple functions and the form is pretty simple we got these very easily which may not happen always if u and v are complicated then getting this thing as a function of x plus i y or getting f z as a function of x plus i y and in turn a function of z in this way might be uh, difficult or might be tricky might be lengthy uh, might be very difficult to overcome that difficulty in our next video we shall discuss another method known as Milne Thompson method. So that's it for this video. See you again in the next video when I will be talking about another method to directly construct fz in terms of z when one of u or v is given to us. Take care.